take a minute to listen to this banger of a palace track. Because, you know, Shido may have ruined Joker's life, but his music is a damn banger. How's it going, geeks? Welcome back to Persona 5 Royale. Last time, we found out what the distortion of Shido's palace is. He sees the entire damn diet building as a ship, and the world is nothing but one huge ocean. Talk about absolutely selfish. He'll run this entire place into the ground as long as he can keep standing along with those that support him. It's so messed up. Although, we have to see exactly how messed up. Indeed. Masayo Shishido's palace. I wonder what awaits us within. Let's go find out. It's time we begin our infiltration. That it is, Queen! Let's do this! Quite a lavish place you got here, Shido. And of course, we're in our uniforms. I understand why he might already see us as a threat, but why are even the passengers wearing masks? Uh... You think they're trying to be fan thieves like Noir was with that beauty thief stuff? <laughs> That's quite enough! It looks like... Whatever the reason, it reflects Shido's mentality. Surely he doesn't view others normally. You ran. Given the insane nature of his distortion, I'm surprised they even look like people. Actually, Makoto makes a very good point. It's very likely we'll end up in battles from here forward. Be under guard, everyone. I mean, it would make sense why Sai, you know, why Sai San would end up seeing people as actual people, but like, you wouldn't think someone like Shido would actually see other people as people. You know, like, I mean, Kaneshiro, he saw people as literal walking ATMs. And, and Madarame, he saw his freaking pupils as nothing but paintings. So why the hell does Shido have regular people? It's kind of anticlimactic, you know. Who are you? I don't think you can talk to an honored guest of Mr. Shido so casually. Dick? What are you talking about? Maybe you'll be nicer, miss. What an odd costume. Is that what you young people wearing are into nowadays? Okay, yep. S screw talking to people in this palace. All the shadows are jerks. Great. Joker, an enemy! Ugh, it's attacking with all these people around? Guess so, guys. We gotta enter a tussle. And of course, with a tussle, comes some fun. <laughs> or does it really? Megaton Raid! Ooh, that does some damage. Of course, we can always deal more. This thing is kind of freaky, but I, it's like a lion, like, oh, guard dog of Hades. Okay, now that makes sense why it has a scorpion-like tail. Anyway, Kamu Susano, oh, baby! Hit him with that heavy freeze! I love these second awakenings. Because the character actually says the Persona's name step. So instead of sticking to Goemon, Yusuke now says Kamu Susano O. That's so cool! <laughs> we cannot recruit this guy as this is a required fight. So we just kind of got to do our thing. Now then, why don't you be a good boy? Stay. Hey, I got an actual good freaking line off. Thank 
god! <laughs> oh, is this a show of sorts? Mr. Shido never fails to keep his guests entertained. Indeed, those privileged enough to be on this ship are all on the winning team. <laughs> He's with these people. Why do they not feel any danger after what they just witnessed? That's eerie. It seems they think no harm will come to them because they're here on Shido's ship. They're not even sensing the danger. Come on. Let's make him see what the ship really is. Oh. I get it. Because Shido protects those that are underneath him as long as they do what he says. That is so freaking scummy. So all of these people, they do not care what happens to them. Like, they don't care what they see, they don't care what they do, because they know Shido has their back. That's so freaking scummy! I hate that! My, that was quite a show. Are you entertainers? Hey! Joker, we should go. It would be a problem if we started drawing attention to ourselves. I know, but it's nice talking to people. Be careful. Yeesh. Can't a Let's Play YouTuber have some freaking interaction sometime? Of course, Shido already starts this freaking palace with 40% because of course he does. Oh my god. This man has his face plastered everywhere. That's nuts! Hey, hey, I'm trying to... Wow, I can't believe I'm about to say this. I'm trying to attack the dog! Hey, Fido, stay! Oh, God. You can hear Shido blabbing through these freaking megaphones. That is so... Ugh. I hate Shido so freaking much, man. Like, he's so... He's two-faced. Shido shows one face to the public, and then everyone else, those that are within his inner circle, get to see his true face. He's a constant liar. Some would even call a pathological liar. Which, actually, I don't know what pathological liar even means. I'll have to look up what pathological liar means, because I know what a chronic, or do I know what a climb? We can climb up here? What the heck? What, what's up here? What? I, I found a chest. Okay, what the hell is in this? Wait a minute, this chest is not a chest. This chest is a briefcase. What? Why is this chest a briefcase? Okay. Let's see, we've got tre- We've got treasure on both ends! Oh, I'm so glad I found out you could use the freaking. Oh my god. You cannot even understand how annoying it is to not know what's going to have treasure in it or not. Oh my god, I'm so glad I figured that out while we were in Sai Sun's palace. Oh, that's another thing. Notice how I stopped calling her Nijima? It's out of respect. I'd rather treat one of my allies with respect. Though I still call Yusuke and Ari. I'll sometimes call, not Makoto, but Haru frilly hair. Uh, I've got Blondie, and sometimes I'll call Ryuji Sakamoto. I don't really have anything for Makoto, so sometimes I just call her Nijima. On, on, I just don't have anything with. And Futaba, I call Kid and Kiddo, and sometimes Shorty. Like, if I make fun of you, and I'm genuinely like not being rude about it, that's a good thing. At least when it comes to games, I always give my little characters and the friends of those characters nicknames. It's just something I do. I don't know. I don't know why I've been sitting here. Hmm. 
I can sense the treasure's presence. It's that way. Let's go, guys. Well, if the treasure is this way, then this way. Hold on. There's a bunch of pamphlets. I guarantee that's going to contain the map. These huge doors are obviously suspicious. I wonder what's through here. There's slots to stick in something like a key card. Whoa, there's five of them. But there are only four panels on the door. What do you mean? 475 people in favor. Zero against. I hear something. That sounded like... Just there is no one against the plan. This bill will be unanimously passed as drafted. Passed? What's going on? Was that Shiro's voice? No doubt. That's the scumbag. If this truly is the representative's chamber as written, beyond here must be the main assembly hall. The what now? Yeah, you're gonna have to fill me in here. I have no idea. I'm not a political person. It's that large conference room that's usually seen on the news. Oh, that thing. Gotcha. So, what are they doing inside? I'm not political, and even I know what that freaking means. Dumbass! Most likely a meaningless vote. One in which whatever Shido proposes will always go unopposed. So he's doing whatever he wants by keeping only his supporters in there. What do we do to get in, though? Should we find these key cards? Maybe we need some kind of qualification. One that vows to be his follower or swear loyalty. Ugh. I hate people like that. So basically, we need to prove that we're on his side. Ugh, we'll have to pretend to do that. You sure move on quick. I'm not happy about it, alright? But doing it means we get to get closer to beating his face in. And that I'm all happy about. But what's this qualification thing about? Why don't we ask the guests on this ship? Uh, isn't that kind of dangerous, though? Asking around doesn't sound like a bad idea. The guests here are the cognitive versions of them in Shido's mind. They'll know any secrets he shared. True. You have a point. That said, the ruler here is that evil Shido. Wouldn't surprise me if they did turn hostile. Right. Yeah, wouldn't they attack us? We should prepare for the worst, of course. But I think we'll at least be able to talk to them. Be careful what you say, guys. One wrong word, and we could end up swarmed. This ship is most likely an Ark loaded with those that Shido believes are worth keeping alive. It'd explain the luxury cruise ship. I doubt idiots who can't even hold a conversation would be here. Uh, we've got a problem then. We can at least gather information. Guys, I don't think you're seeing a clear picture here. We have Ryuji! It helps that everyone's wearing masks. We'll blend in even with our attire. You know, I think I should change our outfits one of these days. He must believe that no one shows their true face to anyone else. Just like him. Ah, uh, that would explain why everyone is in masquerade. Well then, let's split up and ask around. Alrighty. Well, it looks like everyone's taken off to go gather intel. There's no doubt. I can sense the treasure behind this door. Looks like we've already hit the jackpot. Let's go talk to the others. We have to find everyone and talk with them. That way, we can get our information. Hmm. One of the VIPs used to belong to nobility. Yes, that must be why he can enter the sacred place. I heard he's not easily seen, either. But why would someone of his stature always be by the poolside? Well, he must like it there for some reason. But I don't think it's the swimming! <laughs> hey! Beyond this door is the VIP area, and the main assembly hall is a sacred place. Looks like we can't get in unless Shido accepts us. Uh, I have a feeling I'm not going to like talking to the nobleman whenever we have to find him. Ick. My 
Even Mr. OA is a VIP? I just saw him at the restaurant. Do you think an important politician like him has been invited here? Well, support from the political world should mean mental shutdowns are as viable as ever. <laughs> I'm quite envious. I wonder if there's a way I can get to know him better myself. <laughs> if you wish. Hearing people speak so casually about the mental shutdown business makes my head spin. But it seems as though we need certification from five VIPs to become a special customer. If these people are willing to share anything, perhaps it's because their faces are hidden. That would make sense. Animicity can sometimes make you blab. It's not fun, but that's reality. Um, I'm not entirely sure how to speak to people here. I either remained silent or spoke in the simple pleasantries during Father's business relations. Oh, Haru. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. That's another thing. I'm doing this not just because I want to kick Shido in the teeth to avenge, you know... I want to avenge Haru. Because as... Gummy as Okumura was, he didn't deserve to die like that. At all. Mm -hmm. You're some kind of sadist for making me get info from complete strangers, Joker. But I'll do it. I'm going to avenge my mom. And that's another thing. Shido killed an innocent woman. Killed Wakaba Ishiki. I want that man's head on a damn platter, and if it were my decision, I would have that head. Oh, you have the elegance and refinement so sorely lacking in the ordinary citizenry. My, such flattery! A high-class aura emanates from you as well. So you know him? <laughs> Most certainly! <laughs> Hey, are these guys are totally ignoring me when I try to talk to them. Do I look that much like I don't got any money? Is it because of the skull mask or something? Uh, no, Ryuji. It's because of everything else. Uh, but the, uh, skull mask and bony armor certainly doesn't help anything. <laughs> um, we haven't checked over on this side, and yeah, Yusuke is like the only person we haven't talked to yet. Hmm, so is the pre so, so that is the president of a TV station. Indeed, Mr. Shido has quite the large circle of acquaintances. It seems you have to be at least that important to be considered a VIP. I'm truly envious. Why don't we go play the slots with him? That might get his attention. Indeed. It appears these people all want to be accepted as one of Shido's special customers. But by the way, I've gained some information on the VIPs. Discuss later. Joker. Joker, uh, there's something I've noticed too. I actually saw what looked like a map on our way here. Why don't we go check it out? Time to go to the kiosk I talked about. Hell yeah, baby! Hmm. Just as I thought. It's a map! We'll definitely be able to use this to our advantage. Let's take it with us. Well, then. We've gathered a good amount of info. We might want to regroup and go over it all now. How did it all go for you? Not great, but not bad either. Whoa. I was able to get a bit of intel as well. We should sort through what all of us have gained for that. Well, I took a look at the map we obtained earlier and found what appears to be a safe room. Right here. Oh, it's close. Perfect. Let's go over our intel there. Joker. Joker, we gotta head over to the safe room so we can, like, discuss and stuff. This is the first time we've had to actually go to a safe room as part of the game since the tutorial on safe rooms. Feeling. I think there's a safe room around here. That's actually really cool. Holy crap. Okay. Still, this is a surprise. All the cognitive guests in this palace seem like real humans. It's a real culture shock considering what we've seen before. The casino earlier looked pretty real, too, but talking with these guests was a whole nother story. 
You have that right. Yeah, we couldn't get a word in edgewise when it came to talking to the casino goers. Probably because they had their heads bit, like shoved directly into whatever game they were playing. This ruler's observational skills and insight are off the charts. Shido's a formidable foe. Come on, no need to freak out. Uh... I'm not freaking out. I was just thinking it'll be easier to make a plan since they can talk normally. All right, let's put together the information we gathered. So, we gotta get a letter of introduction from the five VIPs, and those letters become the key cards? You're right. Exactly. Now, let's go over what all of us have learned. First, according to my intel, one of the VIPs is an influential politician by the name of Ui. He's supposedly seen at the restaurant at night and sits at a table near the window. Um, um I'll go next. I heard about a prominent VIP who used to be nobility? They said he's usually by the pool. Please hear me out. Next is my intelligence. It seems the president of a television station is also a VIP. He always plays slots at night. It would seem he spends his money quite lavishly. Crap, I'm starting to forget people already. Hey, listen. Next is my turn. For real? Even you got info? <laughs> of course, I eavesdropped. Supposedly, one of the VIPs is a president of an IT company. He's always in his room and reportedly enters from an exclusive hallway. Listen up. Well then, I'll close us out. How the hell you get info with your looks? It seems like some guy they call the cleaner is another VIP. I've heard that he's cautious, so it's probably best if we check the other VIPs first. Um... Cleaner? I wonder what they mean by that. Wait a minute. After all the VIPs we listed, this one's a cleaner? Is he really a VIP? Hmm. Supposedly. Um, I'm sorry, I couldn't get any information. Me neither, so don't worry about it, okay? Just work harder during the battle. You're right, I'll do my best. Uh, uh, but there's a bigger problem, you know? My memory's uh, not so great. Anyways, who's who? Uh, uh, it's uh, no use. I can't keep the profiles of five people straight in my head. Dude, calm it down. We may be in a safe room, but we're still in a palace. I can only remember about two of them. What about you, Joker? Are you kidding me? President of an IT company? I... No, wait, not president of an IT... Damn. I guess I'm bad at remembering after all. Right? I totally get you. I, I mean, I have some details, but they've meshed together. We're up against five people. The politician Owe, a former noble, a TV station president, an IT company president, and a cleaner. Oh, so I did have that right. I thought I was mixing the TV station president and the person from the IT company. And that cleaner, oh my god, I don't want to have to think about that. We get certification from them and obtain letters of introduction that'll serve as key cards. But only go for the cleaner after the other four have been dealt with, right? Whoa, now that's impressive! You go, genius! What do you expect from the official Medjed? If we can't remember the details on the VIPs, let's reconvene inside a safe room. Alright, let's get this done quickly. Wait a minute, what? Hey! We know how to get into the main assembly hall now. Should we head home? Huh? You want to go back already? Mm. There are people in here with special letters. That means Shido trusts them to a certain extent. It would be best to consider them as powerful individuals. We do not want to get too hasty. Let us take our time here. Well... I guess we do have a little time to spare. Well then, let's head back for today. Huh. I guess we're heading back home? Oh, there's the freaking velvet room entrance! Sheesh. Well, I know what I'm gonna be doing then. <laughs> Okay. Alright, Joker, let's retreat to the real world because... <laughs> oh, wait, because we haven't done anything, we don't get the screen. Great. I've returned! Yo. Oh, you're back. So, this is it, huh? I have to do this. You're right. Do what you need to. I'll try to help in any way I can. Just 
Just don't be reckless, got it? <laughs> you got it, boss. That palace is an accurate portrayal of Shido's nature. What do you mean? I have to agree. I'm sure he's quite used to traveling, especially on extravagant ships. And it should be obvious he's not using his own money for it. There are all sorts of rumors online. Oh, I get it. He's using tax money? Not cool, Shido. I think he believes that which belongs to others in turn belongs to him. Even people's lives. That is correct. This country will be a miserable place if Shido becomes Prime Minister. We have to stop him, guys. Right. We gotta make him pay for what he did to Ren, too. Oh, guys. I wanna see what happens when we use the payphone. So, uh, no! We can't do it this time! All right, um, since we are home, <sighs> Actually, no. Let, let's start the actual deadline first. So in that case, let's go to bed. Our enemies know all about the cognitive world. Their guard is down, but we should be careful. Let's sleep. Oh, what now? It's me. Sorry, I know you're tired. It'll be a sec, just hear me out. Uh, I don't have an issue with it. What's up, dude? what I want to do with Shido after going into his palace. We can't let him run free. If there's a heart we gotta steal, it's definitely gotta be his. <laughs> What's gotten into you, dude? I really get it now. I want to avenge you. That's a no-brainer. But that's not it. If we let him run the country, the weak will be totally effed. Isn't it our duty to protect them? <laughs> what happened to the person that only cared about fame? <laughs> We'll protect him to the end, bro. Remember when I told you that heroes who lurk in the shadows are boring? Well, forget what I said. Those heroes are way cooler. <laughs> hey, once we change Shido's heart... Uh, no, never mind. Uh, forget it. What are you on about? Let's do it. Let's steal that bastard Shido's heart. I'll do everything I can to make it happen. Aw, thanks, bro. Thanks for listening to me. See ya. See you later, dude. <laughs> hey. It's almost time. Were you able to sleep last night? Uh, slept pretty well. <laughs> I'm impressed. Whatever happens, you always manage to just shake it off. You're finally facing off against your arch enemy. I know you know this, but don't get impatient. But jeez, it's been getting cold lately. We might freeze to death before we can change his heart. Well, let's look to see if we can find anything to help us get warm. <sighs> A heater, huh? Oh, this is good. It's so warm. Hey. Once we take care of Shido. What's going on, dude? Are you alright, kitty? Mm, well, I was just thinking, this might be the last job for the Phantom Thieves. Huh? Everyone's goals and ambitions, they're all linked to taking down Shido. That's how I feel. We all became Phantom Thieves for our own reasons. We weren't just playing around. Outside of the Phantom Thieves, you also have friends who have been helping you. They believe in you. We have an important battle ahead of us, and we only made it all this way because of them. There's no guarantees we'll make it out of this. See them as much as you can so you have no regrets. Alright. Yes. Ren, I'm with you. All the way to the end. This upcoming battle is personal, so we'll do it your way. Now you can fight Shido on your terms. Hey, are you sure it's okay for him to be down here working right now? I mean, wouldn't it be bad if a Shujin student walked in and saw him? Uh, don't worry about it. Welcome. What did I just say? Nah, still fine. Hey! Senpai? <laughs> Good to see you. You're, you're not like a sensible or something, right? Oh, right. I guess you weren't in the loop. <laughs> Long time no see, Yoshizawa. Same to you. Wait, that's not my point. <laughs> well, are you pleased? I'm the one who set this up. 
A little surprise from me to you. I asked Futaba to do me a favor. And I asked Ryuji to pass the message along to Kasumi. I knew you'd be wiped out for a while, so I made sure to give you time to recover first. Aww. Oh, thank goodness. I'm just so happy. Um, do you want to hug me or why are you so close to my face? No one cares about my scheme. Well, it looks like you know what's been going on with him. Hey, take a seat, why don't you? No reason to stand around. I'm going out for a bit to grab some groceries. I'll let you all get caught up with each other. All right. See you in a bit, boss. So you're Yoshizawa-san, right? Oh, Futaba, kiddo. <laughs> There's no need to be so shy. Though, I guess this is you we're talking about. Well, what's up? It's a pleasure meeting you. Yes, nice to meet you as well, Sakura-san. Could you at least figure out whether to be polite or casual? Sh shut up! Don't you underestimate my people anxiety. <laughs> Mona tells me that you helped him out in that palace a while back. We are awfully grateful for that. Man, you got to show off your skills. I'm awfully proud of you, Yoshizawa, honestly. Oh no, it was my pleasure. He's usually the one who helps me out. Not only that, I promised to repay his kindness to me, no matter what. What a refined response. Are we really around the same age? You know, there's something I've wanted to ask you, Yoshizawa. Why were you in that palace in the first place? That's... uh... Actually, I've got my questions about that as well. How would you have even ended up in there unless you were following us? I was wondering that too. Of course, I'm extra grateful that you saved our leader, but if our plan had somehow leaked, then we need to change our tactics from here on out. It all started about a week ago, when we had lunch together on the roof of the school. Oh. Uh, but, but that day's when... I got the feeling that something big was going to take place that day, so... I'm so sorry. I was actually following you the entire time. Knew it! <laughs> Wait, we were tailed there? Man, to think we could be so careless. We definitely had no idea about that. It's like night and day compared to when Makoto was following us. Yeah, I mean, you could blatantly tell when she was around, holding a newspaper, trying to look inconspicuous. I mean, jeez. But we had no idea you were even around considering for a while now. Perhaps I should be fighting alongside you if I have special powers like your senpai. I wondered if an outsider like myself should even get involved. But I couldn't just stand back and do nothing. You saved me, Yoshizawa-san. I owe you my life, literally. <laughs> it was nothing compared to how much you've done for me in the past. Hmm. Um... Correct me if I'm wrong, but you're not done here yet, are you? Then perhaps I ought to lend you a hand. Huh? Well, we could definitely use the additional firepower, but... Thankful for her offer to help, but Shido is more dangerous than any of our previous targets. It'd be wisest to avoid dragging Kasumi into this fight. I don't want to hurt Yoshizawa. Senpai? While I appreciate the offer, it's way too dangerous. Well, you say that, but... Honestly, we have no idea what risks you would face. Our enemy this time is more dangerous than anyone else so far. We're dealing with someone that knows about the cognitive world. More than any of our other foes have. Because none of them have! This guy knows things. Hell, if he were backed into a corner, I have no idea what he might do to himself. Also, we pretty much brought this entire mess down upon ourselves, so this is on us. We're delighted by the offer, but we really can't drag you into this any further. Not with a good conscience, we can't. Moreover, you have something to do yourself, right? <laughs> I believe I'd be acting selfishly if I were to press any further. Very well, I understand your reasoning. 
If that's the situation, then I'll wait for you to return. But you have to promise me this. You'll come back safe no matter what. I don't ever want to feel as horrible as I did when I thought you... You... Well, I'm sure we'll be fine, Yoshizawa. I really do believe you. It's time I get going. I've got practice today, as usual. All right. Well, be seeing you. Be seeing you. She was worried about us. Man, sure must be nice not having to go to school. Is that aimed at me, dude? Don't know what you're talking about. Dead man cannot go to school, you know. This would be all for nothing if they found out he's still alive. Doesn't it suck to live like a fugitive, though? Always having to hide your face. Uh, honestly, I can barely see. Are you alright? You really need to cover your eyes. Don't try too hard to hide yourself. You only stand out more. <laughs> That's always the hardest. Try hard, but not too hard. In any case, we're ready to put the plan into action. Now all we need is your signal. Okay. Okay. So you'll stand out too much during the day, so we need to go at night. We're about to face our toughest target to date. Don't skimp out on your preparations. We've got a deadline. He's tough and knows the metaverse well. Be sure to strengthen your bond so that you're prepared. Yeah. Hey, sorry to bring this up now. I know you have your hands full. But, uh, Buffet Punch can do it. I have faith in you all. Oh god, that really brings down the moment. Anyway, here's the info I have. This one is cruel. There's a group of scammers out there specifically targeting old people. Apparently, they're using some sort of spiritual mumbo-jumbo to trick them into paying up. Mumbo-jumbo? I don't know, like selling them magical vases or something. Anyway, they keep moving around, so it's been difficult to reliably track them. Apparently, the police have just stopped trying entirely. From what I've read online, the representative is a guy named Yoshihito Wakasa. Sorry, I don't have any more info than that. Good luck! Hmm. It'd be tough for us to go at a time like this, but the info itself is pretty worthwhile. If we have the chance to head into Mementos, he'd make a great target. Swindling old folk is pretty low. Um, I assume that that means we're able to go out again. And we are! Huh? With... Also, look! The heater is still in the room! It's nice and warm. Still seems to be enough fuel. And look! The poster! Oh man. Yoshizawa san was genuinely hurt by her thinking we were dead. That's something to think about. But I think it's time we end this episode. Now you might think I'm going to be doing Shido. Like, right away? But no. I'm not. Morgana has made it obviously clear that when we finish Shido's palace, that's it. We'll be reaching a point of no return where we won't be able to do anything. And I believe that point of no return starts the second you have to send the calling card. I think the moment you're able to send the calling card, you automatically send it the very next day. Which means we're not doing anything palace related for quite a while. Next time on Persona 5 Royale, we spend time with some confidants. See you guys then.